What I'm doing now is I'm going to add some pale blue on top of here and just do some blocky twisting and tilting shapes. So as you can see, I'm cutting right across more the light and dark areas. Now I'm just tapping off some excess dust and next I'm going to add in some of the strong reddish pinks and again just blocking it over quite angular and just sweeping across and here we've got some quite warm ochre colours just cutting across the landscape thinking about the distant colours and then the rough heather at the front there so I'm just thinking about building up the surface and just blocking in I'm adding a bit of colour to the sky as I go because I want to make sure that the sky has got a little bit of colour from the landscape in it so I keep knocking off the pastel if it gets a bit uh, thick on top now the next colour I'm going to use is something a bit paler and this is a nice bright pink as you can see here and this just lifts the colour at the front a little bit so I'm not using it towards the back particularly but I will use it in the sky now I'm going to cover this over but I just want to get a little bit of hint of colour coming underneath that so I'm just mixing the colour by adding the pale on top of the pink there now I'm going to use that pale again and just add it to create some light on this trackway that's just cutting across the moor here just this sense of water or roughness in the ground just to create a bit of movement there and just some different angles through that just to make that look more horizontal in that area there Then I'm just putting some light further away again to get a sense of light on the hills and light in the distance but all the time I'm tipping and tilting my pastel cutting and slicing so you have to learn to use the pastel itself to really show that mark so this is a little bit of really bright ochre now, just to lift the colours at the front. And now some much paler colour. So I'm just putting in a bit of cloud detailing there, a bit of horizon work, just to suggest some sort of movement in the sky. Now this is a much darker reddish ochre colour and it's just to get a sense of mid-ground through there. You really want to get a bit of depth to the picture and the moor's quite dark in places, so you want to get a suggestion of darker areas in amongst those strong colours. Now here I'm using a bit of black. Now this is quite a bold colour and it won't be something I leave showing up very much but the point is you can put a bit of this really dark colour on then on top of that you can add some different shades which then knock it back in but a little bit will come through underneath. Again it's just to build up some sort of structure in the picture so it's not just a mass of different marks and it's to divide sections. So here I'm putting this red over it now and then back to the pale colours. So it's all about creating structure on top of all the mark making and just trying to pull the whole piece together. Excess dust knocked off there. So I'm using a small piece of mid grey here. Now this just helps to make these colours in the distance recede a bit and it adds a bit of dramatic colour to the sky as well. As you can see it's quite crumbly but it's only a small piece. So I'm just trying to get a sense of movement in the sky a little bit there. And just add a bit of on the distant hills there just to get a feeling of things being further away. Now I'm putting a bit of colour through the moorland area as well, just to tie it together so it's not all separated out. Now I'm doing some sweeping marks with that strong red colour. This is to give it a sense of drama, because when things have used lots of blocky marks it can look quite static. And this just some general sweeping marks over. I've used red, now I'm using a bit of the dark, almost black colour. And just to pull things across a little bit just to give it a slightly dramatic movement. So back in with a bit of the ochre and just lift up some of those details using it more angular fashion, less blocky now.
Now this is a very pale cream ochre. I'm just using that to lift that path detail up in the distance there and just cutting across some of the moorland details just to get a sense of activity and light hitting the top of things and just enhancing some of that horizon detail there. So that gives it a slightly more linear feel. I'm just putting a bit of that up in the sky as well to so get a slight yellowish tone up there as well. And again, it just ties the picture together.